What's up guys, it's Brennan here from Tidewater Aerial. Uh, today I'm going to show you basically how to set up your CL F4 racing board on the DJI Air unit. I had a bunch of problems getting mine ready so I figured I'd just go ahead and show everybody what I did so we can have it for the future. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Alright guys, so here's my, um, this is a Marmot uh, Air Martin. So I got my DJI Air unit, CL4 uh, racing flight controller here. So basically, with your DJI Air unit, um, you're going to set it in similar to this. But you're going to go ahead and put your um, the brown wire on the ground. And then you're going to put your uh, the yellowish tan wire on S-Bus. And then what you're going to do is you're going to configure, I think it's called an MSR, or MSN connection. So the white wire is going to go to your TX4. And that's critical for when you go to set up your ports. Your gray wire is going to go to your RX4, just like you see here. I'm not a pro solder, but I'm telling you it works. So uh, we'll jump into Betaflight here in a second, and I'll show you. But that's all you essentially have to do um, Well, on, outside of wiring your power. So I wired my power directly to the battery. So you're just going to want to basically put the red on that ties into the terminal of this solder to the black. You guys know that if you built quads, so you should be good with that part. So yeah, let's jump into Betaflight, and I'll show you the, the next steps. Alrighty, so we got our beta flight set up, opened. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the quad. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it's finicky and you have to unplug and plug and plug and plug. See, for some reason like that, see it's not working. If you get this, it's normal. You just kind of plug and unplug your USBs in try to catch it all right, right off the bat um, I usually just do this calibrate accelerometer make sure your drone's nice and flat just to get a fresh levelness all right so first things you're gonna want to set up is come down here make sure your OSD's on you're gonna need that um, I use telemetry I'm not sure if it works or not but I usually just leave it on um, all this stuff is kind of standard already selected uh, you want to make sure you got, um, if you're using the DJI remote, you want to make sure this is on serial bus, receiver, and S bus. So, and then go ahead and hit save and reboot. Um, power battery, um, you may have to do some scalers here. Just take note of this if you're having issues with it. Um, every time I build these things, for some reason, the voltage up here says way different than 16 volts whenever I plug in my actual 4S. So now we're just gonna go to ports. All right, so ports, um, you're gonna go on ahead and turn on your sewer RX on your art one. Um, that's gonna pick up that S bus port I showed you that the um, that yellowish tan wire is connected to, and that should get your remote controller working. And also the those two connectors, the gray and the white, you're gonna wanna turn on this MSP connection. And that's gonna enable that connection at those ports. It's gonna let those two wires talk to that port and that should allow your US OSD and your receiver to work fine. Um, again, hit save and reboot, let that cycle. Uh, now you're gonna wanna come down to receiver. I don't have my receiver on, but you should be able to see these things move. And then next, your OSD. So for my OSD, all I use is the crosshairs in this one because DJI has this built-in voltage regulation, which is like kind of in the bottom right of the screen. So you're just gonna use that. and when that's all done, you can save and exit. And you should be good to go. Um, just leave some comments in the description if you have any issues. This is about my third go around, so it seems pretty, pretty straightforward, but I can be glad to help. Um, thanks for watching.